Thanks for staying with us. We're continuing our coverage of some really remarkable flooding across southeast Wisconsin. Susan Kim joins us live this afternoon. She is in the water in Waukesha. I certainly am, Steve. Thanks very much. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm at Bethesda Park in the heart of Waukesha, right along the Fox River, where today you could call it Lake Bethesda. As I step out of the screen here, you can see see where those ducks are. That's normally part of Bethesda Park, but today Bethesda Park has become part of the Fox River. And to give us some perspective on just how much water we're seeing today, Luke Trojanowski and his daughter Brooklyn are down here enjoying the afternoon and join us live now to talk about what they're seeing and thanks you guys for being with us. What do you think about what you're seeing here at Bethesda Park and just how much water there is today? Yeah, this is uh, this is crazy. I last time I saw this was like I think it was 2017. I, I took my kayak out of here just to kind of scope it out, but it's uh, it's really, you know, we got a ton of rain. I don't know what the total was, but uh, it's it's really overflowing and um, the walking paths are all pretty much all covered up. It's up to the up to the past the ankles. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Brooklyn, when you first walked up here, what was your reaction to what you were seeing? Because you've been to this park before. Yeah, um, it was cool. <laughs> you think it's cool, right? I know. I mean, for kids, this is really remarkable to see because normally when we're all down here, there's a playground here. We see some folks here walking in the water just a little bit. It's just not something we're used to seeing. No, not at all. It was just, you know, we just saw a guy uh, paddle boarding through here. Uh, it's amazing. It's a it, I mean, it seems to happen once every few years, and um, yeah, I, I definitely want to check it out today. I wanted to, I brought my kayak out again just to see it. Yeah, and I'm hoping your home and everything, your home is fine, yes. no issues no, there? We, we were fine, we were lucky, okay. yeah, everything's okay. All right, well, yeah. thanks so much, yep, Luke, and thank you so much, Brooklyn, for your time this afternoon. Let's go back to the studio. Brian Goddard, it's just so strange because the sun is out, it's kind of warm out here right now, but then we realize, you know, all this rain that we've had and uh, the flooding that we're seeing sporadically throughout the area. And uh, you know what all that means? Mosquitoes. Get ready for mosquitoes the next couple oh, gosh, days. Oh, that. All right, the, the standing water. Oh, oh. It's going to get bad, especially as we warm up over the week. And that Mr. Troy asked like, how much they got. Waukesha, over six inches of rain. To put that in perspective, that's a month and a half's worth of rain in about 30 hours. Uh, that's a lot of water in a short period of time, and that's why we have the flooding. The sun is out now as... Um, we were mentioning 67 degrees. Susan's out there with her jacket on, but the sunshine feels warm. It's still in the lower upper 60s, I should say. The wind is light. We are in the center of this storm system, so the heavy rains are just to the north of us. We will see some more rain showers this evening, but everywhere you see in yellow, orange, and red, that's where the heaviest rains were. Parts of uh, Waukesha, Walworth, and Racine counties, those spots picking up six to nine inches of rain. Everyone else about two to five, and there is more rain to come from the north as this system has to push on to the east. We will see some more rain showers tonight, Susan, but the good news, any additional rain, which isn't good for anyone, but additional quarter to half inch. We won't be measuring this in inches upon inches upon inches. <laughs> All right, I think we've had enough. Thanks so much, Brian. And if you can get the latest weather anytime, anywhere, all you have to do is download the TMJ4 app or you can watch it on your streaming devices as well. We have a QR code here. It'll take you straight to the opportunity to get your latest updates on weather whenever you want.